Hey guys, 7 WWE Rocks here, and finally, after a long, long, long time of waiting and seeing what was going to happen and all these legal troubles and issues and, you know, lawsuits and all this just random bullcrap that we don't really care about, Broken Matt Hardy is finally here in WWE. So, I mean, Broken, Awoken, Woken, whatever you want to call him, basically it's the Broken gimmick, but I think WWE is sticking with Woken, I think. Maybe Awoken, I don't know. Um, but Bray Wyatt had one of his regular promos backstage, you know, all ominous and mysterious. And uh, lo and behold, it just the segment would cut off with his promo every once in a while, and Broken Matt Hardy would take things um, going forward with the promo. So he was deleting things. I, I will say it was maybe a little held back than we usually saw in TNA. Um, the accent, I think, is there. It just wasn't as, like, you know, crazy as it usually was in TNA. Um, but I'm, I'm really happy about this. I really am. And maybe because I didn't tweet about her or anything or saying, like, as excited I was, just because Finn Balor and Bray Wyatt's feud really, really sucked. And I don't want to say Finn Balor and Broken Matt Hardy are similar, uh, or, like, the same, but, you know, they're kind of, like, a, a different gimmick, you know, feuding with Bray Wyatt, um, with Finn Balor and Bray Wyatt, a feud with them, I expected great things. And I think I can say for everyone, we were greatly disappointed. But now that it's broken Matt Hardy um, feuding with Bray Wyatt, I, I'm, I'm actually really, really happy about this. I think great things will come from it. I'm excited. I'm really excited what they let Hardy himself, you know, come up with what WWE goes with. See, a little different perspective, a little tweak. But still let Matt Hardy, of course, you know, run things with the gimmick. Um, I'm not saying he's going to run his gimmick 100%, um, but he'll probably be in the creative process. And since Jeff Hardy is out, I'm, I'm really glad this is happening. Because I know uh, Bully Ray, you know, when uh, with Team 3D split up or whatever in WWE, he always he wanted to do the Bully Ray gimmick in WWE, but they wouldn't let him. They wanted him to be in the tag team with 3D. Um, so I'm really happy that Matt Hardy's actually getting this chance to express himself and do things on his own, you know, on his own terms and whatnot. It sucks that Jeff Hardy's injured, obviously. That sucks. Uh, but since he is injured, I mean, they weren't going to do anything with Matt Hardy anyway. Why not give him a decent push? Maybe go after, you know, the Intercontinental Championship. You know, have a great feud with Bray Wyatt. Maybe even world title, you know, picture if things go really good after WrestleMania. Um, and, you know, it should be exciting. I'm actually really looking forward to this. I'm glad, you know, he's deleting people. He's freaking, you know, just calling out all Bray Wyatt. And, um, that, that laugh he does, what, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if you even call it a laugh, but you, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to try to do it because I can't imitate Matt Hardy, that genius. Um, but that laugh to end off the promo and the fans' reaction, I thought was just so great and just so perfect to how crazy this feud's probably going to be. WWE, please... Please, please, please do not mess this up, WWE. Don't screw Matt Hardy or he will class you, classify you as obsolete. I'm sure of it. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on Matt Hardy and the broken gimmick coming back. Do you think WWE is going to screw it up? Do you think um, good things from here on out for Matt Hardy? Are you What are you expecting from the feud with Bray Wyatt? Let me know. I want to hear it. Let me know how you would go with the whole thing, how you would go with the gimmick and whatnot in WWE. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7 WWE Rocks. We got about, I'm not even wearing a watch, I think about 10 minutes from SmackDown. So hopefully it's a good show. If you are watching it, I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.